India's quest for a fifth-generation stealth fighter jet, the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, or AMCA, has captured the attention of defense analysts and aviation enthusiasts worldwide. It's a project that represents not just a technological leap, but also a statement of intent. India's determination to join the elite club of nations capable of producing next-generation stealth fighters. But the question that continues to surface is, is the AMCA truly becoming a reality, or is it just an overhyped dream that remains on paper? In this video, we'll dive deep into the AMCA program, its progress, challenges, and what lies ahead for India's fifth-generation aircraft ambitions. The AMCA project was officially launched by India's Aeronautical Development Agency under the Defense Research and Development Organization, with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited serving as the production partner. The idea was born out of lessons learned from the Light Combat Aircraft Program, the Tejas, which despite delays, proved that India could design and produce a modern supersonic fighter. The AMCA aims to take this expertise several steps further by introducing stealth, advanced avionics, and next-generation sensors that would allow India to compete with the world's most advanced platforms like the American F-35, the Russian Su-57, and the Chinese J-20. The AMCA is envisioned as a twin-engine, multi-role, stealth fighter that will fill the gap between the Tejas and India's future sixth-generation concepts. The aircraft's design focuses heavily on radar cross-section reduction through internal weapon bays, serpentine air intakes, radar-absorbing materials, and a carefully optimized airframe geometry. It will feature a combination of stealth characteristics, supercruise capability, and advanced sensor fusion, elements that define fifth-generation fighters. India's AMCA design has gone through multiple iterations since its first conceptualization in 2008, with the final configuration reportedly frozen in 2019. The jet will include a fly-by-wire control system, an indigenous active electronically scanned array radar, advanced electronic warfare systems, and an infrared search and track sensor. After years of conceptual studies, wind tunnel tests, and computer modeling, the AMCA has now entered the crucial prototype development phase. The Cabinet Committee on Security approved the project's design and prototype funding in 2024, marking a major political and financial milestone. The ADA plans to roll out the prototype by 2028, with the first flight expected around 2029, 2030. If everything stays on schedule, the AMCA could enter production in the early 2030s, although, based on India's past aerospace timelines, such projections should be treated cautiously. To accelerate progress, India has adopted a public-private partnership model for the first time in a major aircraft project. A new joint venture called Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft Limited has been established, combining DRDO's design expertise, HAL's manufacturing capacity, and private sector efficiency from companies like Larson & Tubro and Tata Advanced Systems. This approach is intended to ensure that the AMCA program avoids the bureaucratic delays and production bottlenecks that plagued the Tejas program for decades. One of the biggest challenges facing the AMCA is the power plant. The first batch of AMCA fighters designated AMCA Mark I will be powered by GE's F414 engines, the same power plant selected for the Tejas MK2. While this provides a reliable and proven interim solution, it falls short of the thrust levels required for a true fifth-generation stealth aircraft. For this reason, India is collaborating with General Electric to co-develop a new, more powerful 110 kN engine for the AMCA Mark II variant. This indigenous engine effort is critical not only for performance but also for strategic autonomy, ensuring that future upgrades in production are not limited by foreign suppliers.
India's defense scientists are also focusing on increasing the indigenous content in the AMCA systems. The aircraft will feature an indigenous Uttam AESA radar, a self-protection jammer, and advanced mission computers developed by DRDO's Electronics and Radar Development Establishment. In addition, the AMCA will likely integrate indigenous weapon systems such as the Astra Beyond Visual Range Missile, the Rudram Anti-Radiation Missile, and precision-guided munitions designed by India's defense industry. If successful, the AMCA would place India among a select group of nations with operational fifth-generation fighters, currently limited to the United States, Russia, and China. It would also provide a major boost to India's Make in India initiative and defense export ambitions. Strategically, the AMCA is not just about prestige, it's about future-proofing India's air power against rapidly modernizing adversaries. With China fielding its J-20 stealth fleet and Pakistan seeking to co-develop next-generation fighters with China, India's AMCA program has become a matter of strategic necessity. Despite the enthusiasm, skepticism remains. Critics argue that India's aerospace ecosystem still struggles with delays, cost overruns, and dependence on foreign technologies. The Tejas program took over three decades from concept to induction, and the AMCA, being far more complex, faces similar risks. Moreover, achieving the level of stealth, avionics integration, and weapons capability comparable to established fifth-generation fighters like the F-35 will not be easy. So, is the AMCA a reality or just hype? The truth lies somewhere in between. The AMCA is no longer a paper project. It has received government approval, funding, and international collaboration. The design is finalized, and the industrial ecosystem is being set up for prototype production. These are tangible steps that signal real progress. However, it's also true that India still has a long journey ahead before the AMCA takes to the skies and achieves full operational capability. The AMCA is a bold and ambitious project, one that embodies India's desire to be self-reliant in defense and to stand shoulder to shoulder with the world's leading aerospace powers. While challenges remain, dismissing the AMCA as mere hype would be premature. The coming years will be critical in determining whether India can translate its vision into reality. For now, the AMCA represents hope, a glimpse into the future of Indian air power and a test of the nation's technological resolve.